Well, yeah, I think it's finally coming to people's attention. I think of it a little bit more as like the cup is overflowing now. It's been happening for a while. Right. A less of an explosion, more of a of a build to to where we are. And you know, and for my part, I started doing work with the organization Voto Latino in, uh, early last year to really um, work on the ground with Latino communities in a nonpartisan way to get engagement and to get them to show up and use the political potential that lies in our community and you know to all of our excitement they showed up we showed up and um, and now I think we have a huge obligation as a community to really learn to hone our voices and learn how to use our voices what do you think Carlos is the biggest misconception you know we talk about Hispanics in this country and what do you think people don't really understand about the community is it there are a lot of different communities within the so-called community or I, w I would say that most people don't get that uh, we're not all recent immigrants you know we're all we're all kind of put together as the guy or the woman that just came here so it's either the person who picks your fruit or your salad or you know the knock on the door of the housekeeping um, whereas to I think that it's come to people's attention and this is unifying us in a very different way because I'm, I was born in Honduras, she's of Honduran descent, she's of Mexican descent, you know, you have the Puerto Ricans, the Dominicans, and they're all subsets of one culture. Right. So we've kind of been fighting amongst each other to see who is the highest on the totem pole of Latinos. Really? Oh, is, yeah. Is there a lot of competition and a real pecking order among sort of various Well, well nobody wants to be at the bottom. Nobody wants to be at the bottom. 65% are Mexican-Americans. There you go. So, see? <laughs> so and how about Puerto Ricans, Sonia Sotomayor, and then right. Central Americans. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so when I, when I was a kid and I dated this Mexican girl, everything was cool. And then when her dad found out that I was Honduran, <laughs> he was like, what are you doing? And I was like, whoa. And, and I was legal, and he didn't have papers. And I was like, dude, <laughs> I was, wait a minute, man.